Who knew people who look so bad could make you so good? Let's say you enjoy your favorite chaos themed mini from Games Workshop. That's fine, you get a lot of baubles, a lot of skulls, a lot of spikes. Who doesn't like an incredibly sharp miniature that they have to pick up? Well, the problem is, at least for me, I don't like painting those things. I've enjoyed uh, much more human-like shapes, and with that comes the pinup. Hello everyone, my name is Diesel and welcome to Mana Potion Tabletop. So, uh, let's talk about nudity today. I'm actually very new to miniature painting. I started this year, so with that I've had to learn a lot. This is my first miniature, this nice little orky fella. He's quite the orc, he's quite interesting, but he's a little, uh, uh not a great paint job. <laughs> This is the last thing I painted, a Plague Marine, and it's definitely an improvement over something I painted in January. But how did I kind of improve with my skills? Well, the big thing for me has been the pinup. Oh, I don't know where I'll fit this in, but I'll leave links to any of these 3D printed miniatures if uh, I got them from my mini factory or if they're from Patreon, you can find the Patreon linked below. So just follow the names there and you can go print one of these for yourself. Now as a very masculine dude, when you think of a pinup, you think of those posters you get at Walmart with a car and a woman, and it's foam taped to your college dorm wall as you spent the next four years quietly thinking about all the women you never talked to over that time. Or perhaps you think of your uncle with his really creepy garage and strange opinions on things. But uh, hey, this is not that. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, as we get into this, make sure to subscribe to Mana Potion Tabletop. We'll be producing tons of content here every week related to miniatures, tabletop, and more. So, needless to say, from that, uh, pinups have a bit of baggage to them. There's this, you know, you can't get around that there, you know. You paint a pinup and people, people think things of you, or you feel they think things, right? Because, oh, you're painting somebody naked. Mmm, that's a little saucy. What's wrong with you? Are you a degenerate? But no. These things are actually great ways to practice. One thing I've learned with painting pinups is that when you strip a miniature down to the bare and nude, you get a sense for how the body works and really how it looks and how you should go around those corners and edges. In a way, I guess you could say that I've been looking at pinups the same way an artist would look at a nude model with a canvas. So for example, I painted this goblin and you might be thinking, wow, uh, is that model built thick front? But yeah, that's kind of the point of it. I mean, aside from the obvious short stack appreciation posts, it definitely helps me work on a technique of producing better green skin. There's quite a lot of skin there for me to work with and improve upon. And because I play orcs for 40K, I wanna make sure that I am doing a great job. Now, a side effect of me working on pinups means that I want to be really tight around those corners. I want to make sure that I can see each and every single angle and curve. I'm trying to be very specific because I want to make sure she looks pretty. And um, I I'm quite proud of this one because a stranger on Twitter uh, replied to me and he said that my image of a, of a goblin helped him get to sleep. Uh, apparently it was good enough to get the job done. So that's, that's great. This miniature right here is a multi-part pinup from a Patreon. I actually messed up this lady, but she was my first attempt at trying to make a more realistic Caucasian skin. I mix it with a couple of different paints and you'll get to know more about this miniature in a different video, but specifically, I quite enjoyed working on her skin. There was a lot to cover and a lot of places you could mess up, but you know, it's not, it's not, it's not my worst one. So as a result, I've been painting a lot of pinups, uh, not because I am a degenerate, but because I am a man of culture. You know, just really trying to understand the different layers of skin. And that's really been the main focus with all of these is to understand skin and get better at doing that goal specifically, not to spread myself thin and do non-metallic metals or do something else. And I should mention that pinups aren't just um, that, sometimes there's actually men too that can be pinups. So you got this gladiator Viking guy right here and he's got a dad bod, but he's also, 
you know, a bit of a barbarian thickums, you know, he's strong, he's got the gains, he's got the muscle. Or you get this guy who I painted and haven't, or not even primed or anything, uh, you know, he's, he's a cook and he's cooking naked. Uh, not OSHA compliant miniature, if you will. I really want to make sure that my pinups look pretty regardless of their gender or species. So I've definitely gotten a lot of a smoother hand just by working on these. I mean, this orc lady, for example, um, kind of kind of messed up her face in the high res pictures I've included in this video, you'll, you'll see that. But hey man, I, I worked really hard on it, even though it is definitely worse than the goblin. Also, hey man, if you're painting an army, you might have gotten really bored of painting your 100th space marine or just, you know, not trying out any new mechanics for your painting. I mean, for example, uh, this is a half-finished girly, but this is uh, quite a different miniature than what I would paint, which is primarily orcs, and I've done about 50 of them, so it's... I need to mix it up every now and again. Pinups are a great way to try out different things, and I have plenty of different pinup type models that are great for just trying out how to show off muscles or just get a better feel for it. And this does flow over into my orcs because orcs are muscly boys and you need to make sure that you can practice your skin on some muscly boys so that way you've put in the reps to make a good muscly orc. But maybe this has all been a psyop. Maybe this has all been me trying to get you to paint a thick goblin. You need to annoy your friends with your outrageously hot D&D &D characters. That's a possibility too. You need to be the obnoxiously ripped and chiseled space marine mowing down the nids in a thong. Something something a joke about Gilliman and that elf lady that I don't remember the name of. But I really do think it's time that you paint a pinup and uh, take a ride on a bit of the more uh, eccentric side of 3D printed miniatures. And hey, if you don't have a 3D printer, there's even some miniature sellers that uh, do the pinup. I know the really famous one is Kingdom Death, and I don't have one of those yet, but I'll work on it. Anyway, in the meantime, go paint a thick goblin or two and make sure to tag me on social media. And also make sure to subscribe to Man Up Potion Tabletop.